All right, so this is going to be kind of a quick video. I do have another larger video planned, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to get it all done before the end of the month, and I wanted to upload something this month, so I'm just doing this really quick so I have something to put up. In this video, I want to take a look at this weird homemade CD-ROM I found at a yard sale a while back called Dolphins for Kids Volume 1. I've actually wanted to make a video about this thing since I got it, but it's not really full-length video material, which is why I'm covering it now. Now, if you're a little bit older, you might remember clip art CD-ROM collections. The idea with these is that you would pay like $20 to $50 for a CD-ROM packed with images and graphics and sometimes audio samples that you could copy off the disc and use in Word documents and presentations and web pages and the like. These collections were popular for the brief period in time when most computers had a CD-ROM drive, but most people still didn't have internet access, or if they did, it was very slow. With these collections, you could have access to an entire library of images that was larger than an average hard drive at the time. And this is where Dolphins for Kids Volume 1 comes in, because it's a CD-ROM collection of dolphin photos. But I'm talking about it today because it's a little bit odd when compared with other CD-ROM photo and clip art collections. To start with, this thing is obviously homemade. The disc is a CDR with what looks like a CD stomper label, and the cover insert is printed on glossy photo paper with what looks like an HP inkjet. It also comes in one of these crappy half-size jewel cases. I friggin' hate these things. I already made my thoughts on jewel cases clear in the first video I put up on this channel, but these things are even worse. Now, despite the production value, this thing does appear to have been sold commercially at some point, at least in small quantities. There's a label on the back that says it was produced by Iser Enterprises and lists a P.O. box in South Beach, Oregon. I'm pretty sure that this was sold out of like a little mom and pop tourist trappy shop, but I'm not 100% sure. There's also an email address on the back, and I did send an email to this address, but I never got a reply. Now, as for what's actually on this disc, this is where things get a little bit stranger. As I already mentioned, it's a collection of dolphin photographs. There's nothing but JPEGs on here. But whereas most CD-ROM image collections would fill the disc to capacity to make sure you got your money's worth, this disc contains a whopping total of 7.21 megabytes of images. This entire collection of photographs would fit on three double-density floppy disks, which might have actually been cheaper than a CDR at the time this thing was produced. I should also point out that the file dates on this disc indicate that it was sold no earlier than 2003. This thing is not from the 90s. This is from 2003. To put into perspective how ridiculous that is, the entire contents of this disc could be downloaded over an average US home internet connection in about five minutes at the time it was sold, which completely defeats the purpose of selling this kind of collection. Remember, the whole appeal of these things is that 700 megabytes was more data than you could reasonably download over the internet at the time. Okay, I know that in 2003 there were still quite a few people who did have dial-up internet, so maybe there was a bit of a market for this, but as someone who can't really remember a time before the internet, this just seems super ridiculous to me. Doubly so given that there is so little content actually present here. Speaking of content, let's take a look at what you actually get on this disc. There are a grand total of 51 images here, and I'll run some of them by in a slideshow while I talk. The first image is this white on black text that says, Hey kids, use these photos for anything you like. School projects or print them to hang them on your bedroom walls. If you have dolphin questions, I'll answer them for you. These are not for commercial use without written permission, so I guess I'm not monetizing this video, not that I would anyway. The rest of these are all still photos of dolphins. A lot of them look like they might have been taken at SeaWorld or some similar theme park. All very amateur, and they seem to range from about 1.4 to 2.4 megapixels in size. And so these really wouldn't be ideal for printing out and hanging on your wall like the instructions say here. This whole thing is just kind of silly and very homemade, and I do kind of like things like this. I don't know why I made this. This is just so ridiculous. I find it amusing. Anyway, if for some reason you're interested in the Dolphins for Kids Club Volume 1 CD-ROM, I don't know if there's a Volume 2, I will put a link to the image file for this disc down in the description if you want to download it and take a look at all the wonderful dolphin photos. I don't know why I find this so amusing, and now I'm rambling, so I should probably just end the video. Yeah, I think that's about all I have. I'll be back with another video hopefully later this month definitely next month if not uh leave a like and subscribe and all that crap if you want to see more dolphins for kids <laughs>
<laughs> any anyway, um, yeah, bye.